song in my head. I'm gonna make it rain. Gonna make it rain. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna shut this window so the neighbours don't hear me. They've obviously just heard me say, never, never. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I have just come back from Aldi for my weekly shop. It is Friday. I normally go on a Thursday afternoon slash evening. Um, we didn't go last night because I usually go with my stepdad and my mum and my stepdad up to work late. So, yeah. See you in a minute. But anyway, um, so last vlog that I did, I was dyeing my hair and you all wanted to see what it looked like. So... There we go. It's quite a um, warm toned. It's got like a ready tint to it. So, oh, it's so much better though. I feel so much younger with not having all the bloody greys. But, um, yeah, it's not too bad. You can see some of the colour difference when the sun hits it. But, um, like I said, I wanted to get a balayage done anyway. So, we can sort that out when I get that done. Not that I'm going to probably get it done anytime soon. I'm looking at my bottle of water. I think it's still in the bag. So, yeah, I've just got back from Aldi. It is 10 past 12. So, we went nice and early. Went to see Isabel. Had um, some breakfast. We've got um, a black breakfast batch. A lot of you that are not from commentary will not know what a batch is. It's a, a bun, a bread roll a barn cake, a bread cake, what else would you say? A, what else is there? I don't know. Yeah, you get what I mean anyway. So I had a sausage and omelette batch, because that's what we call them in Coventry, and with tomato sauce, and it was delicious. It's only, it's only like a little brown one, it's, it's not too big. And then just had a, um, just a white coffee with it. So I checked the weather this morning. Well, I was, as soon as I woke up, I checked the weather because I want to know what to wear. And it said it's going to be 11 degrees. So first of all, I put like my black t-shirt on. I've got my black leggings. And I was getting ready and I was boiling. So I've put on this like baggier t-shirt um, that I got from Shein last year. It just says, every time miss you um i really like this top it's gone a bit worn now it's a bit bobbly um and then i've just kept my leggings on and sort of rolled them up to be like three quarter length i've got my white trainers on let me see if you can see them ones ha <laughs> ha i'm babbling now so i'm just gonna get on with my haul i've got three bags this week i spent over 100 pounds it comes to like 112 pounds something um there was makeup bits in the special buys and it sucked me in. It drew me in as it does and I had to get it. And also, I'm pretty sure these are dupes for the Olaplex. If you all know what Olaplex is for your hair, I'm pretty sure I've um, picked up the dupe. So, anyway, let's get on with it. I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do my chilled bag first, and I can get it away, and we can move on to the two bags with the non-chilled bits in. It's not as heavy as it normally is the chilled one. And the woman was going such a lovely pace. I didn't have to throw it in. It's all nicely packed. Right. So on the top, I've got some raspberries i didn't go for the wonky raspberries this week because they were far too wonky they were basically crushed and minging but these look really nice so i've just got the normal ones i think the um the wonky ones are two pound nine and these were 2.49 so not too bad um i've got some cherries i'm pretty sure these were like two pound these were 2.79 i think uh, don't quote me on it I've got quite a big pack of the Piccolo tomatoes. This is like double the amount that I normally get. This is the 400 gram one, so pretty sure that wasn't that cheap, but I absolutely love them. 
um, I spotted the extra fine green beans. We really like these. And there was one that was 30% off. And I did grab it, but it was all open up the back. And I just thought, I'm not going to risk that. So I just got the the normal ones. And they were, how much were they? One pound. I think they were 179 or 149 I got the Cherry Bakewell that I got last week. Matthew really enjoyed this. Um, it looks like that. You put it in the microwave for three minutes and 20 seconds so I, because i've got an 800 watt i think i put it in for three minutes 10 seconds um and it just it comes out so lovely but i literally have a little sliver there my has like three quarters of the pot he absolutely loves it and we have that with double cream i've got another one there and i picked up a strawberry trifle because matthew absolutely loves his pudding so I think rather than in the week ordering a pudding online and paying like 16 quid or something, I get like a £2 dive for trifle. It makes sense. I've got him his Tropico ice creams. I, I don't eat these ones. These ones are for him. Three in a pack. And it wouldn't be an Aldi haul if I didn't pick up my ice splits, which are just like fab. These are the ones that I like. And they're 51 calories, which I think is brilliant. So I don't feel too greedy when i want more than one um i got some bacon lardons because i really want to make a mac and cheese this week um i've got a lean beef steak mince five percent this is the 250 gram one like i got last week and um i made the chili with it and like i said i got the 500 gram one the week before and it was just a bit too much for us two. Um, I mean, I could have frozen it, I know, but I tried to get two meals out of it and then there was a little bit left and there wasn't enough to freeze, but it was just too much. So yeah, the 250 gram one is brilliant. And I bulked it out um, with a whole tin of kidney beans. I had a whole tin of tomatoes. I had grated carrot and I'd finally chopped some celery with the onion. Now I know a few of you have, have been like, oh, celery in the chili but it's just a base and you wouldn't be able to tell it's there it literally just sort of like dissolves into the the onions because they're finely chopped it just gives it a really really nice flavor um a lot of professional chefs do it as a base so yeah i haven't just made that up i promise i've got some brenda cream if you don't know, Brenda is one of my lovely... Boo. I do this every week. I mess up when I get to this bit. Brenda is one of my lovely subscribers. And she's... Uh, when I first started getting this cream, when she first started watching me, she was going on about this stupid, flappy, like, plastic paper lid thing. Um, so, yeah, if you knew... I mean, if you've been watching for a while, you're probably fed up of me saying this. But, you know, it's just me and Brenda's thing. So, Brenda cream that's what it is i got some dry cured smoked streaky bacon i didn't buy this last week i still had some leftover from the week before so got some of that 16 rashers it's absolutely lovely it's not like like you know you buy the normal packs of bacon which i do buy now and again but with this bacon it doesn't leave that horrible white residue behind i don't know whether sometimes you, you know you fry bacon you see that white residue the, you know the bit more pricier one doesn't leave that it's just really nice so that's you know it's it's, it's basically just better quality meat um then i've got i was going to go for the chicken kievs the, the you know the posh ones that i get and then i've seen these um these are new they're, there's two mozzarella and balsamic chicken breast fillets and i thought they look really nice so, got some of that. Big blobs of mozzarella on the top. Breadcrumbs. Balsamic vinegar. I thought that sounds like a really nice summer dinner. And I'll probably do it with some um, some nice potatoes and maybe the green beans. And, um, yeah. Sounds good. I've got some chicken thighs. So, half of the pack will be for Rocky. And then half of the pack will go in a curry for us. 
And then I also got some chicken wings. I don't know whether we are going to have these this week or, or I might just put them in the freezer. But I do like making my own chicken wings. They just come out so nice in the air fryer. You don't even need to turn them. They're great. I've got those. There's my celery. So that's, I use this for a lot of bases. And I also use it in coleslaw. Got spring onions because I've got that duck that I bought last week that we've still got a week, so um, needed some spring onions to go with that. Got some garlic bread, always go for the everyday um, essential garlic bread. So it's like 30 odd P, I think it's 37p, and I just prefer it to the more expensive one. Got some Guana Padano with cheese because I like to shape this on top of my mac and cheese before I bake it and do the whole thing in the air for you. I don't, have I actually shown you my mac and cheese? I think I have, haven't I? I'll have to go back and see if I haven't, then I'll do that video. If I have, then I'll link, I'll leave like a little tab at the end that you can click on and watch it. Um... Picked up some of the Lincolnshire sausages. Um, we had these yesterday in a sandwich um, as our breakfast. Um, we had the sausages and mushrooms with brown sauce. It was good. Got some mozzarella. This will be for our mac and cheese as well. And I've got some easy peelers because I always get these every week. These are the mini easy peelers. Hello, Matthew. Where you been? Where you been? He's not swearing at me, that's his peace sign, not his piss off sign. <laughs> right, anyway, that is all my chilled, so I'm just going to pop this away and then I'll move on to the two other bags that I've got. Right, next bag. This is quite heavy. So. We've got some lightly seeded bread. This is 85p. We've got some crispy fries. This is just like French fries. Um, we get four ready salted, three cheese and onion, and three salt and vinegar. A ten in a pack. I think they were, I think they're like 125 or something. Um, got some Cheetos, these are just the little packs, six packs, Matthew really likes these so i got some more of them. And I also picked him up some Thick Ridge Thai Sweet Chilli, like a sharing pack. Then, I'm really low with my floor cleaner, um, for mopping the floor, so I've got this all purpose cleaner. Um, Cotton fresh, extra shine, cuts through grease and grime. So it's just like the flash one that I get. And I didn't actually smell it in the shop. The shop is so busy today. I swear I hate going on a Friday. That smells absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got some Saxon balsam tissues. I think these were one pound. I think they're £1.9 and then the little boxes are 85p but these are like bigger tissues and then when I got to the till they had the Kleenex ones but they were £1.49 and they're exactly the same so I'll stop with them £1.9 I got a massive bottle of water just still spring water this is a five litre one and this was £1.19. I've got some Nescafe Gold Blend. Um, they only had the little ones in this week and that was £3.49, so not too bad. I was gonna go, I was gonna actually buy some and go for puffy of a day. And I think it was this size, it might even have been slightly smaller. This is the 100 gram one, so probably this one, but it was eight pounds on GoPuff, so 349, I don't mind paying that. Um, this was in the special buys, this is the Cholula Hot Sauce Chipotle. Um, it's got a really cool lid, it's like a wooden lid on the top of it, but Matthew likes his hot sauces, so I thought I'd pick that up for him. Um, 
I'm not sure how much that was. I couldn't actually see a price for it. Um, so yeah, it was just one of the special boys. Got two tins of the peeled plum tomatoes. And I got some Wrigley's extra strawberry flavour chewing gums. Um, there is something in here, but I want to I want to save my special special buys, like the, the the ones that you all want to see until the end. So that's it for that bag. I'll just budge these out of the way and can move on to the next one, the last one. Here we go. Oh, this is the very heavy one. Right. So, on the top of this one is another one of these pots that I bought. I don't think it was last week, I think it was the week before. Um, because I was meant to go to see Izzy on the Friday and then I didn't go because I wasn't very well. So then, um, last week, what happened last week? Oh, I don't know. I think it was two weeks ago anyway. It might have been last week. I've, I've lost track of time. But anyway, I did the designs on it. If you've seen um, a couple of vlogs ago, I think it's last vlog, I was doing the strawberry design on it. And then last night, I did a ice cream design on the other one. So I'll pop a little um, picture of it here. Either side, each part is either side of these headstones. So I'll pop the photo in here for you. So I actually got this one for myself. Um, last one in there it was, little cute red flowers on this one. And I'm, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a lemon and um, orange design on here, actual lemons and oranges. So yeah, so that'll just be for on my windowsill. Now like I said, this was the last one. It didn't have a price tag on it and the lady that was serving me is the one that actually put them out last week. And she said they're 2 49 She says, but I can't put it through as 2 49 I have to scan it because if I do that, I'll be called in the office. She says, I know it sounds ridiculous. Such a small price, but we're called up about it. So she called one of the managers. He took ages to come to the till. And then when he got there, he wouldn't put 2 49 through himself. Even though for the, he's the manager, he didn't trust both of us that they were 249 went in the back took another five minutes out the back come back through gave the code to the woman and it was 299 which so I, at that point i was like just just put it through but it was like no 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 if it's 249 so then he over with the 299 and took 50p off and it, it just took far too long but it's the last one anyway and um yeah, that's my life story for today. And it's looking a bit wilted. Let me just put a bit of water in it. So no one die. Just pop it in there. Like that. Right. Next thing I got was some free range eggs. Just got six of those. The large ones. Malted milks. These are the best biscuits um i'm looking in the bag oh yeah i've got two packs of these so malted milks i don't think these are very much so like i think they're like 50 something p i think might be slightly more than that but they're not very expensive i got rocky some of the mini bone treats and the mini nibbles treats these are his little favourite treats at the minute, he loves them. I scatter a couple of them on his dinner and he just eats the whole lot. He loves them. Um, I've got some top up items, so I've um, ran out of my basmati rice, so bought some more of that and ran out of mac. Ran out of mac and cheese, I was going to say that. No. Ran out of macaroni because I want to make mac and cheese this week. Got some of that. Um, because we love these so much and they go so quick i just bought two packs of the milk chocolate coated rice cake 
I've got Matthew with soft bakes, the chocolate hazelnut ones. I've got one, two, three, four of the chilli rice crackers. So two are for us. And then the other two are for someone else. But I can't tell you who they're for because they may be watching. So they're not all for me. Cat some cat food, some Vita Cat Select Premium Poultry Selection. Um, she's just completely out of wet food. She's been having the dry food this week, but I do like to give her a pouch now and again as well. I've got some of the quick so meat gravy granules. This is the oh, it says four meats, but it doesn't actually say beef on there. It used to say beef. Don't know why. Is it vegan? Yeah, suitable for vegans, it says on there. Mm. Got some carrots, big bag of those. Some blackcurrant squash. I made a boo boo the other week. I got some of this, but I picked up the. Here it is, here. Yeah. So I bought it a few weeks ago and it's still half full. No added sugar, it's vile. Me and Matthew don't like that one. So I've got the proper one, the one with sugar in it. And I know a lot of you thinking you shouldn't be drinking that because it's got too much sugar in, but it's diluted and we like it. So we get the one we like. There was like a milk shortage in there today. There was a couple of the, you know, the big, big, they like six pointers. I can't lift one of them, so I just got some of this semi skim long life milk until we can go and get a four pointer because this will just go in our tea and coffee anyway. So, some of that. And then I got two bottles of the Coca Cola Zero $1.99, it's much cheaper than buying the cans. And then when I was up with Till, I was really thirsty and it was so busy in there. So I just got one of these still waters, which is 39p. Right, on to the good stuff. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items out of the special bag. So just get them out of the bag and I'll show you that. So, so these are the first two things that I've got. I'm pretty sure these are the dupes for the Olaplex. So they're called Lacura Bonded. I've got the shampoo and I've got the conditioner. And it says on the back here, it's the bonded shampoo is the second step of a three step system designed to strengthen and repair damaged looking hair. Formulated with moisture magnets and cuticle smoothers, the shampoo reduces frizz and adds shine the perfectly manageable, healthy looking hair. So it says direction to treat hair with the Lacura bonded pre-wash treatment. They didn't have any pre-wash treatment, so I could only get my hands on the shampoo and the conditioner. If I go back next week and they've got the pre-treatment, I'll grab that as well. But I thought I'd just try it out for you guys just to see how it is, just in case you want to try it, because they're not cheap, they're £3.99 each, but um, the, oh, I can't remember that, Olaplex is a lot more expensive than £3.99, let me tell ya, because I haven't bought it before, it's so expensive. Um, then I've seen this face mist spray by New Age. Um, cools and refreshes, suitable for hay fever, um, suitable for daily use. So it's just like a little face spray. Matty. So yeah, I thought that's good for um, if I'm really suffering with hay fever. This is the good stuff. They had some of their makeup bits again. And I absolutely love the Lacura makeup. So the first thing I've seen was this Lacura CC Serum Glowing Base Hydration and Colour Correction. Um, and I've got it in the shade Peach. 
Um, so it looks like the, the one that I really like from collection, the, um, what's it called? It's that glowy primer stuff that I use. So I haven't got any foundation on today. All I've got on is the collection glowy primer. And then what I'll do is I'll spray the, um, I've got that contour by, I can't even remember what they're blooming called now. It's like a bronzing butter. So you spray it with your like primer spray or setting spray. And then I just buff it in with a foundation brush. And then I just go over my whole face. So it just gives me a nice glowy, colourful cheeks and whatnot. So yeah, I've got good skin at the minute. So I thought there's no point putting foundation on. So yeah, got this serum. And then the next one is this Hydrating Tinted Moisturiser with SPF 30, Quillane and Hyaluronic Acid, Factor 30. So that looks nice. And I got that in shade 3 because I thought this is going to go nice in summer when I don't want to wear foundation. And I think um, it's more of a, a tan shade. So I've got that one. Um, I've got this brightening concealer formulated with vitamin C and caffeine um, which looks like the dupe of the Clinique concealer I think I'm sure it's Clinique I'm not quite sure what these are I think that must be ALF or it might be the Charlotte Tilbury one and this one I do recognize that but I can't remember um, is it the Elephant Glow Drops or something? I don't know. I'll, I'll check what that's a dupe of. I'll have a look. And then I've had this before. This is the Collagen Lip Oil, Collagen Sheer Butter and Vitamin E. Um, this is really cute. I'm not sure what this is the dupe of, but I really, really like this. So I thought I'd pick myself up another one while they've got that. So that's all of the special boys. Um, and that's what it took me up to £112. So it came to exactly £112 and four pence. Uh, so, yeah. Let me just tell you how much these special buys are, just in case you do want to go and pick some up. So, like I said, the shampoo and conditioner, that's three ninety nine each. The tinted moisturiser, that's $4.99. We've got the collagen lip gloss, that's $3.49. Concealer, $3.99. And the hay fever um, <coughs> mist, that was just 89 pence. And then the primer serum, that's $4.99. Not too bad. So that's it. I'm going to just put the rest of my shopping away. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to, I was going to do. I think I'm going to take Rocky for a, a walk in a bit. Give him some of his treats. He's not at his breakfast. Sometimes he just doesn't bother eating at all in the morning. He only eats in the, in the evening or afternoon. That is the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway because it makes no difference to you, but it makes a massive difference to me. And also, if you're not subscribed already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell just to let you know every time I upload and leave me a little comment because I love reading your comments. And that is it. That is today's haul over. So I hope you're doing really well. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.